Philadelphia Eagles have made their selection. Go full dog. Go full dog. Oh. Come on. What, 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 what exactly yeah, We need Dan Orlovsky barking hey, right just now. Get another, get another Georgia dude. Okay. I, get the band back together. I just thought maybe you were going to give us like a bark or like And there's a third Kelsey or... brother we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow. 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 <laughs> there you go, oh, man. There it is. I just like it when we spend several minutes talking about something and then it actually comes to fruition. Look, okay. at, the, look at the bubbly. Look, <laughs> that you. white is fresh. Or is that oh, cream? No, I, you know what? <laughs> is that cream or white? Like, He's the top three tonight. That's, like, look at that. Too. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah. I mean, talk about it. This is the guy that runs up 4-3. Uh-huh. That is ridiculous. He's in the white suit. He's got champagne even before the draft pick comes yeah. out. He's got the red bottoms and the red tops. I don't know if AC has that. So for everyone <laughs> who said the Philadelphia Eagles, because they lost their two coordinators, aren't going to be right back in the thick of things, please stop talking. <laughs> because what they've been able to do in signing, you know, Jalen Hurts, but getting ahead of the curve last year, taking Nicobe Dean, taking um, Jordan Davis, mm-hmm. You look at this year's draft, Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith, they're, they're right there. They're not only trying to get back to the Super Bowl, they're actually trying to win the Super Bowl this season. But, th- but that speaks to one thing that we've mentioned about several teams, right? When you pay your quarterback, you better nail the draft. Yep. Philly has nailed the draft last year. Philly looks like they have nailed the draft again this year. I mean, that, this is just benefit of the doubt that certain franchises Is get. this even they real? To, they start to do things right. You know, they keep it simple. And, you know, I listen, I – they're, all gonna, not, they're not all going to work out. Uh, Nicobe Dean should have a bigger role this year, but like barely saw the field last year. So like you know, we, we gave him a ton of flowers for that pick last year, and he was like a special teams guy for them. This mm-hmm. So maybe these things don't pan out as quickly as they, we expect them to. But Philly has a blueprint. You know, you, you draft guys that are freak athletes, that have played basically NFL defense already. In fact, there are four guys from the same team. I'm sure won't be anything they'll be disappointed about. So Philly is primed, despite losing a ton of players in free agency this offseason. They are so primed to make a deep run in what looks like a very weak NFC. The, yeah. the division will be fine, right? But the rest of the – like this conference, Aaron Rodgers gone, Tom Brady retired, the Rams are like still rebuilding this thing. Like the Eagles are – damn, they are back up, man. It's, it's really hard to argue against, and I don't think people realize like, yo, we're not – kidding when we said that Georgia defense in 2021 was the best of all time yep. yeah it's showing up in mm-hmm. these picks like these are guys that were rotational players some of them on 2021's team and they were just waiting for their turn to become first round picks right because <laughs> you just can't pick all of them in round one that's absolutely <laughs> just absurd <laughs> yeah it's absolutely crazy. absurd but but they are that talented are key and I'm, I'm out it, it's, it's, it's <laughs> unreal like these are the players to, it, to look at it like this right Ooh. alabama has dominated college football the past 15 years mm. these are the guys that stop that yeah yep. these are the guys yeah. that put that to rest totally this, but the fact this that it's happening way. again also and you're right they were all part of one defense a couple of years ago it also speaks to what georgia's mm-hmm. doing right now. yeah like when people in college football say that georgia is, is the new alabama I'm not taking Alabama off the throne, but I think what you have to acknowledge is that Georgia is recruiting at a level where it is not it is not wild to consider that this is just this is the new norm. Like yeah. Georgia is yeah. going to have three or four guys every year that are first round caliber defensive players that can come out and absolutely crush anybody. And then they get to go uh, escape the high pressure of Athens and play in a relaxed environment like Philly. So let me let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> so, so tomorrow the Eagles have the 62nd pick. If they take Keely Ringo, if he's still there, mm. uh-huh. I, I may just throw my pen and my highlighter up in the air. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> Kirby Smart, New Eagles defensive coordinator. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.